Hi everyone! Hello. Welcome to this episode. <laughs> wow! That was what was that? That was so Oh my god! Uh, did we just turn into those creepy twins from The Shining? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Welcome to this episode of Catching Up with Yoseka Stationery. So, so casual. casual. I hope you all are great and having a great week as you are watching this latest episode of Catching Up. Last week, I did promise you all that it would be a holiday festival in here. Oh yes. Oh yes. <laughs> yes. And um, I think we've delivered. Yes. Oh, um, <laughs> I don't know if anyone can see on the table, but we have lots in store today. Yeah. Mostly we're just getting into the holiday spirit, but as the holiday season arrives, things are getting busier and busier around here. So we actually posted on our Instagram, some of you may have already seen, that we are hiring. So if you've seen our post you can you know read the description send in your resume if you want to join team yoseka people who see that post and take the time to apply they usually really put their heart into it mm -hmm. and i do appreciate reading all of the um it feels weird saying cover letter but i guess that's what it is sort of mm -hmm. like just like the email that comes you know, mm, what like, they write in the body of the email as they send their resume mm -hmm. is sort of like a cover letter, a little intro. I really, really enjoy reading those and uh, seeing what everybody says about themselves and like why mm. why they would love to work at Yoseka. So it is, uh, I think it's one of my favorite things to do at Yoseka is mm. um, interview people and hire and uh, just like look for new Fresh blood. <laughs> Fresh stationary blood. Mm. <laughs> that makes us sound so scary. Yeah. No, but it is, it is a lot of fun. And so I'm looking forward to this like new batch of resumes and backgrounds um, introductions that I get to read as our uh, as everyone sends in their their applications. Nice. Yeah, so do not hesitate. If you are interested in joining our team, be sure to send over your resume and tell us a little bit. I I do have to say, I like to read those emails about why you think you're a good fit. So don't mm. skip don't skip that step. I'm beginning to wonder what I wrote. I don't even remember at this I point. I remember your email. It was very you, yeah. Oh my god. It was like it was pretty casual, but like very just like mm, just like I, I felt like, you know, I would like to get to know you kind of thing. Yeah, you, you had a very relaxed, relaxed nature about it. Yeah, I liked it. <laughs> One might even say a so casual nature. So casual, exactly. Yeah. I knew you'd be perfect for this before even before we even started doing these episodes. So <laughs> yeah. Hilarious. But Hilarious. yeah, I will definitely be busy these next uh, couple of weeks um, interviewing and just talking to people for uh, joining our team. Other than that, we have just been, you know, we're just preparing for the holidays. We've been slowly getting a little bit Bit busier here and there every day. I think lots of people have presents on the mind for sure. If you have been thinking about holidays, I take my hat, I tip my hat to you. Is that the expression? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because I'm so last minute with holidays that I think in the past, my newsletters, like I don't even talk about the holidays till December, really. But I realized that was a mistake because not everyone is as much of a procrastinator as I am. <laughs> you know, like people are already buying presents. Right. I, I spoke to a few people who were like, I just finished my Christmas shopping and I was like, Oh my god. <laughs> I really need to start. It's that time. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, it's definitely that time and we are having to think about holidays and things like that. So, we were just talking about actually our holiday schedule. Mm -hmm. um, some people have been asking because they'll be in town for Thanksgiving, for example, mm -hmm. and they have been asking about our uh, holiday schedule. We will actually be closed Thanksgiving day and the day after. So, that's Thursday and Friday, November 24th and November 25th, we'll be closing the store. We'll, we won't be working on, on any online orders on Thanksgiving day either. And the store will reopen on November 26th. 
so that's Saturday, November 26th. So that's the holiday schedule for Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. And then for Christmas, we actually will be open all the way up till Christmas. Um, at our normal holiday, at our normal store hours, that's Wednesdays to Sundays, one o'clock to seven o'clock. And then the week after Christmas, starting from December 25th, that's Christmas day, to January 2nd, that week, our store will be closed for browsing. We're gonna take a little week off and all our staff will be getting some much needed rest i would say <laughs> and we'll be sure to like make a blog post about this and announce on instagram too and then we have some more like housekeeping news um with the holidays on everyone's minds we have uh holiday shipping deadlines that we would like to announce as well every year usps actually puts out these guidelines that like oh if you want your package by december 25th you have to have it shipped by this date and that date so um, we have those dates now and they are on our blog post. So be sure to check that out and um, refer to that if you are planning Christmas presents or any, any holiday shopping that you're doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I think that's about it for our like announcements, updates. Yeah. updates. Um, and now to the fun part of these catching up episodes, we have hordes of washi tape on the table in front of us here today. We have um, washi tape from two of our favorite washi tape makers. We have BGM new washi tape and we also have MT new washi tape. Okay, so adding on to their clear tape collection, they released some new designs. Here we have some of the new BGM clear PET tapes. Um, these are sort of wrapped in plastic silk, but they're really cute. They're kind of, um, as Ashley was saying, they are sort of reminiscent of like the stained glass tapes that we've been seeing. These are stained glass designs with like not your typical motifs. Like there's cats in this one and there's flowers and there's birds in this one. And then this is sort of like mosaic glass. tile sort of reminding me of, but um, yeah. They're really cute new BGM PET tapes featuring all these different stained glass designs. There are also, going with the holiday theme, oh, there is okay. ornaments. Ornaments tapes featuring gold foil and sort of like holiday motifs. Like there's a little horse, there's a little holiday bell on this one, there's a dove. Um, this one is sort of like the stars and the moon. Um, this one, like that's really cute. Lanterns. Yeah, it's so like a nice. little town. Wait, what is that? Oh, it's a lantern. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lantern. You just said that. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so, more of these ornaments collection BGM mm -hmm. tapes right mm -hmm. here. And then, next up, one that really interests did me are these zodiac <laughs> sign washi tapes. <laughs> so you can see they're grouped just by the time of the year. So if you're like a November, December, January birthday, you'll be these. If you're like a summer birthday, you're these and whatnot. As opposed to, well, how I would group the zodiac signs is by like air signs, fire signs. Nope. They did it by oh, like what time of year you're born. the time of the year. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So interesting. It was very interesting. Yeah. With the gold foil the as gold the stars, foil. which is really pretty. So pretty. That's gorgeous. Gorgeous. And last but not least, we have just Ooh. some standard BGM washi tapes, but they're very like textural. They're marble they're marble they look like a marble countertop wow they look like um the marble that i wish was in my kitchen <laughs> <laughs> i wish i had these countertops but i can just afford these washi tapes yeah if you can't afford countertops <laughs> get these washi cover tapes cover my countertops in these washi tapes <laughs> like you can see all the 
Um, next up we have new seasonal and very holiday themed washi tape from our favorite MT. These I look forward to seeing every year. I love to see different holiday MT designs and some of these are repeats of the ones that were released last year but they're super limited so they actually sell out very quick. So this is a set of three. Um, of like this is like a thick roll and then there's like these thinner rolls over here with these very holiday motifs and some of them have gold foil on them. Each of these rolls in this larger roll is actually available individually as well. Then there's also this roll of three that I didn't show earlier. All of these rolls are individually sold as well as available in those packs of three. Um, so I I feel like it's not the holidays until I see these the MT washi holiday tapes. tapes. Like that's yes. what really cues it for me in my mind. I don't know why. I don't know why that is. Mm -hmm. More holiday stuff. So we actually did an unboxing video on these here in front of me. These are the holiday Mew print-on sticker designs and I'll just thumb through them a little bit. Um, but they, you get two sheets per pack and I already cut into this one as you can see from the unboxing video but there are more this is like the days of December leading up to well actually you get all the way to 31 like animals and watercolor it's like a holiday postcard winter winter wonderland postcard with like a fox Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so all of these really cute holiday designs. Um, so that's new from MU. So we also added this really fun. Ooh, which one are you going oh, for? Oh, they're both. They're fun. all fun. Yeah, I'm reaching for many things, <laughs> but the the fun one that I was going to talk about oh. is the family calendar. Yeah, it's this big calendar here. It is for. Like having, you know, one of those big like refrigerator calendars or wall calendars, but something that the whole family can use so that you can all keep track of what you're doing together. The different um, columns can be taken over by different members of the family. You can write like whose birthday is happening when or Jacob has soccer practice. Wow, Jacob's soccer practice. We're a few years away from that. Yeah. <laughs> he has no appointments. <laughs> he has a doctor appointment every once in a while, but other than that, no. Um, but yeah, I love that also you get this uh, sheet of stickers, mm -hmm. like having three, why, why would you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess the whole family needs to know. One. <laughs> if you're having happy hour. <laughs> Um, but I guess it's not just for kids, I don't yeah. know, or like, uh, yeah. Um, or if you're roommates, if it's just a, yeah, like a, a you household could, of you roommates, could, I could definitely could use it. For like homework, or like, mm -hmm. I don't know, maybe if you have like an after school art activity, mm -hmm. um, chores, like taking out the garbage, there's these garbage can ones, travels, mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. so cute, birthdays, Yay. there's like a little cake one. How cute. So you get obviously all the months and then there's all these columns that Ashley was pointing out earlier. Oh, and this is October and there's a little, there's a little ghoul. <laughs> yeah, a little ghoul for Halloween. How cute. What's really nifty about this family calendar is that it comes with this pocket flap mm -hmm. that you can store loose like papers, like, I don't know, like your kids report cards or um, oh. mail oh, or anything one. like bills that mm -hmm. you have to pay, things like that um, into that pocket as well as a, a pencil, which, which is pretty handy for writing in mm -hmm. things into your calendar. Mm -hmm. This is cool. It's pretty, it's pretty big, so it's obviously made for your wall, but then it's yes. very like visual, mm -hmm. which is good. <laughs> Next up, we have some stickers from Plain Stationery. These are the Stationery and Cat. They used to be flake stickers, actually. We used to have these as flake stickers, but now they, um, Plain Stationery has introduced them as a whole sheet of stickers. So this is actually a sticker that you would peel off and a sticker, you know, all of these are stickers that you would peel off. But it's really cute. 
Um, the idea is like cats using stationery. So like a cat behind a magnifying glass, a cat at a little calculator, um, a cat licking a postage oh stamp. My God, that one so is so cute. cute. Um, and then there's like a cat dipping into a bottle of ink making a real mess. <laughs> this is one of my favorite plain stationary cat motifs because, I don't know, the colors of that calico cat on top of that Maruman mm -hmm. sketchbook yeah. is so perfect and it's just like, I love it. I love how iconic it is. It is iconic. Yeah. Um, and then this one is really cute too. It's like a cat as a glue stick and a cat playing with a roll of washi tape, which I can tell you would get so hard, would be oh, so horribly wrong. So yeah. tangled. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Um, a cat in like a little paper clip. These are really cute and we've loved them ever since they were first added as flake stickers. That was like a year ago. A year ago, yeah, right? definitely. Yeah. Um, and these are always really popular. They actually like plain stationery uses these motifs on different things and they have like Embroidered sticker patches as well, and I usually keep one on my apron at the store. So mm -hmm. people love that. Yes I like I kind of like the the sticker sheet format now I feel like these are a little bit more portable You can just take a tiny sheet with you and your planner and use it. That's true, they don't get lost mm -hmm. because otherwise they'd be like so teeny tiny and mm -hmm. you would definitely just like, it's really easy to lose track of flake stickers even yeah. they are freaking cute. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, oh, and they're washi material, they're washi paper. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And last but not least, we have these standard graph measuring meter sticks. Um, these are pretty cool. They come in all of these colors. As you can see, they come in all of these colors and they are pretty small, so they would fit into your backpack. You'd be able to travel with them and hold on to them really easily. Um, but they fold out and they're magnetized. You can see they're magnetized, so they really click securely together, but you can fold them out to um, whatever length that you need and measure and fold out more if you need it to be even longer, like that. So that's pretty cool. I, this is um, a vintage concept because I often see these in like, when Neil and I are shopping for vintage stationery, I see these a lot. Mm, like really? the idea of these. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I love that you can like put these at right angles. Oh. I really wish I had had this when I was in school because when I was like doing a lot of like wood, wood cutting, like things, anything that you have to cut at a right angle, it's like so annoying to have wow. to go find your other like right angle tool. But this oh. just has it there for you. Like it's and it's really sturdy too. That's cool. I'm See, very as somebody who's never cut wood, I didn't think of that. Like, this is <laughs> wow. Go check that out. Yeah. And they're fun to play with. Let's, so let's fun. not I'm, overlook that. Fact. I'm getting lost in this right now. <laughs> yeah. Ashley was really silent this video. I wonder why. <laughs> Just pulling the standard graph ruler. <laughs> yeah, this is really convenient. Wow, love what you made there. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Thank Looks you. like one of those hooks that Thank goes. You. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so these are really, really cool. So Ashley, what is your favorite newly added stationery? Hmm, I wonder. I mean, I, I actually did have some favorite stationery picks, so I will share those first. Oh. Um, I, I did have you pick more some, than one. <laughs> some washi tapes chosen. Yeah. Obviously, I love the stained glass birds. It's giving very partridge in a pear tree, I feel like, Yeah. for the holidays. But I think it's just a cute stylized depiction of birds. Yeah. So I like that one. And then obviously I have to choose my zodiac sign washi tape in here mm -hmm. for BGM. Yeah. So I like that. And I'm always a fan of the BGM gold foil tapes, as we know. Yeah. But coming in very close is the standard craft ruler. This is very, very. <laughs> Once you pick it up and start playing with it, you cannot put it down. <laughs> like I can't even explain it. It's just so. It's very satisfying. It's like a fidget toy. Ah, yeah, that's what it is. That's what it is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do you it's have a good pick? Yeah. I, yeah. Mm -hmm. There you go. Yeah. 
Do you have a favorite Daisy? It's gotta be these MT Christmas designs. Oh um, yeah. In sure. particular, I don't remember. Do you remember if we had this one last year? It's oh. the Christmas drinks. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I feel like such a teacher with this. Maybe this is maybe this is my favorite. Now. <laughs> Featuring different Christmas drinks, and I just love the border of the gold foil at the top of this. Um, washi roll. Um, it's so festive. Plus, I want to read about all of these different um, Christmas drinks all over the world. Mm -hmm. It has like the little flag of where this Christmas drink is from, too. Mm -hmm. So it's not only cute, it's educational. <laughs> I love it. And obviously, eggnog is on here. Nice. Yeah. Um, Globi. See? So much learning to yeah, do. Yeah, so much. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, that has got to be my favorite, and I think that's about it for the newly added portion of this uh, catching up. And as you can see, we're still fiddling. I can't put it down. <laughs> no, like, I can't put it down. Yeah. Put it down. <laughs> yeah, lots of people in New York for autumn in, mm -hmm. in, in New York City, I guess. Um, but yeah, how has the store been for you? The store was good for me this week. I actually didn't meet a new customer. I had a re revisiting. I remet for the first time a customer that I had met many years ago, actually, oh. like when I had first started working at Yoseka. Yeah. So this week I have to shout out Cesar Ooh. because um, he was yeah one of the first customers I ever interacted with. So I didn't even recognize him because I, I mean I've said this multiple times, but I am very face blind. Like I'll probably remember your name or like the interaction that we had, but I cannot remember faces very well so after he like told me his name and everything I was like oh my gosh and I helped him get his very first eco pen so that was like very nice memories you but remembered him yeah yeah oh, I remembered him I remembered him oh wow yeah 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 that's cool it also helps to have like a unique name too mm, that's I true like. yeah so that was very cool he wow. to like upgrade some pens of his, so I helped him out with that. Wow. And his brother was visiting, so he <laughs> was like, you must come to the store with me. Oh, I love when yeah. people do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. I love that. So that was very nice. And um, he shared his YouTube channel with me. He he didn't tell me if I could share it on this, on, on our catching up. So okay, maybe it's a private I, I won't do it if, okay. it if it's private, but okay. Cesar, if you see this and you comment below, <laughs> that you wanted to shout out your YouTube channel, I'll definitely do it. Yeah. Next catching up. Yeah, next catching up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because it was um, very nice. We were talking about lots of green inks and he ended up getting a little bit of our origin ink. That was my customer friend of the week. Oh, thanks, thanks Cesar. So thanks much for, for coming, coming back. back. Yeah. And bringing your brother. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so nice. And thanks for remembering me. <laughs> oh. Even though it took me a little bit longer to remember you. Yay. <laughs> um, this week in the store, I want to shout out Tessa. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tessa is um, someone who uh, orders online from us and um, she brought her friend with that with her over the weekend to come visit Yoseka. She's not in, she's not from New York, so she came in from out of town, and um, she was really surprised that I knew exactly who she was. But yeah, I knew exactly who she was because of her orders, and she's like, "How do you know my name?" Um, you know, <laughs> people forget that like I look at all of my orders that yeah. come in. Yeah, um, so Tessa, it was super nice to meet you, and I hope that your friend, I don't, I know your friend was thinking about getting a Hobonichi Weeks. Um, I, I hope that uh, I talked her into it. <laughs> <laughs> Hobonichi Nation. Yeah, yeah. Nation. Um, So yeah, it was so nice to meet you, Tessa. Thank you for coming, and I hope to see you again sometime, and if not, um, have a really good holiday. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Well, that is about it for this episode of Catching Up. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you are all uh, loving all of the washi tape that we've added, all of the Christmas holiday stationery that we've added, and look out for more coming yes. in the next 
in the next few you weeks. Can believe it, there's even more. There's even more. Um, and if you've got holiday shopping on the mind, be sure to check out um, our blog post for those shipping deadlines um, and store hours. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye.